Hey everyone, before we start the video, I just want to let you all know, I've started a Facebook group. It's a fantastic little community. Link is down in the first comment and in the description. Get over there and check it out. I'd love to have you over there. Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant. Today's video, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite cameras the camera I use pretty much the most, my Panasonic GH5 Mark II. We're gonna talk about it, why I love it, why I use it so much, and why I actually think I like it, maybe a little bit more than my Panasonic G9. Let's roll that intro and let's get straight into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, the Panasonic GH5 Mark II. This camera is fantastic. I have to say that this is the camera I use the most because I do all my filming um, on this YouTube channel using the Panasonic GH5. Fantastic Panasonic G9 is filming me right now with the 15mm f1.7 Panasonic Leica lens. Um, great for video, Panasonic G9 is a fantastic camera for video. More so stills, but still awesome for video. However, I use my Panasonic GH5 to create the videos here on this channel because um, it's an absolutely fantastic um, you know, video camera. That's what it's put out there for. Why I prefer this camera over the G9 is its photo video hybridness, I guess you could say. Um, this camera is fantastic for video, great for video, great also for stills. And switching between the two mediums on jobs this camera really, really does shine. I also prefer the GH5 Mark II over the G9, um, the handling of it. The GH5 series of cameras, the GH cameras, they fit so well in my hand. They're more molded than the Panasonic G9. I'm not really taking anything away from the Panasonic G9. I absolutely love that camera. But the GH5, just for long periods of time, for shooting and things like that, just seems to fit better in my hand. I just like the feel, the tactileness of all the dials, switching, that sort of thing. There's less menu diving with the GH5. You know, they're just two things, you know, I prefer over the G9. I'm not gonna go on about it in this particular video, you know, comparing the GH5 to the G9. But, you know, I really have five core reasons why the Panasonic GH5 Mark II is awesome. And really, it was overlooked, you know, from the GH5, the GH5 Mark II come out, and then the GH6 wasn't, you know, that far away from it, so it sort of got lost in the middle. So here are my five reasons why I think everyone on the face of the planet, if you're a Micro Four Thirds user and you want another camera heading into 2024, another great camera, I should say, why you should think about picking up a Panasonic GH5 Mark II. Okay, number one, the video quality out of this camera. 4K at 60 frames per second, 10-bit 422 internal recording. It really can't be beat. And I know I've talked about the video features about this camera, you know, earlier in this particular video. However, it is awesome for video, content creation, longer form video. You know, I do all my, pretty much all my YouTube videos with this particular camera. Color profiles are absolutely fantastic. Don't need much um, tweaking at all. You know, just pretty much drag it into Premiere Pro and you're right to go. The files are so easy to work with, straight off the SD card. Um, you know, it really can't be beat. And you know, that's what Panasonic are aiming for with the GH series of cameras. They are more sort of, I guess you could say, uh, video-centric style of cameras with the GH5, GH5 Mark II, GH6. They're very much focused on video. Okay, number two, enough said about video. This is more of a photography-based channel. The only reason I got the Panasonic GH5 Mark II was to create more content for this particular channel and use it as my main um, camera. However, I use this camera for stills, clients, client work, um, you know, personal work all the time. It is a fantastic stills camera. The 
The JPEGs out of this camera are really, really fantastic. They only need minor tweaking in Lightroom. I just drag them over into Lightroom Mobile and do some quick te uh, quick teaking and you get just great results. Again, the color profiles that you get in the GH5 Mark II, all the different ones, they're absolutely awesome. You can get in there and you can really tweak the color profiles the way you like it and get great JPEGs out of camera. The raw files are absolutely fantastic for stills. Um, heaps of room to play around in Lightroom. And also the black and white profiles in the GH5 Mark II are awesome. And while we're talking about images and video and stuff like that, it must be said, the Micro Four Thirds mount and the range of lenses that go with Micro Four Thirds is absolutely through the roof. And now that brings me to my third point, video photo with the GH5 Mark II. Now that really makes it one of the most versatile cameras you can get. I said right at the top of the video that I do like to use this particular camera the most when I'm doing paid client work or any sort of work with my graphic design and things like that because of the versatility of it. I do a lot of content creation for businesses, um, small startups and things like that and the ability to switch from photo and video, create reels, shorts, that sort of thing with this camera is absolutely fantastic. Pair this camera up with a versatile lens like the 12 to 60 f2.8 to f4 in good lighting conditions Man, the results you can get, super sharp, super versatile, photo and video, it really can't be beat. And this is just the versatility of the GH5 Mark II. You also have, if you even want to save more money, the original GH5 with a little less features, color profiles, things like that. Um, the GH5 here in Australia at the moment, the original GH5, is as low as about $700. So just in general, the versatility and the value you can get from the GH5 Mark II, or even, even better, the GH5, is through the roof. Photo and video, versatility, professional work. If you're an aspiring photographer and you wanna start doing more paid work and things like that, you're looking to upgrade your camera, you really can't go past this little camera here. Okay, number four, the features that are built into this camera here, the GH5 Mark II. Things like the stabilization, five stops of image stabilization. In fact, I think it could be even 5.5, I'm not too sure. Let me know down in the comments below. Two card slots, weather sealed, awesome stuff. Also has the GH5 Mark II, the ability to do live streaming. Um, if you're doing live streaming, so you're gonna get great results. USB-C, fantastic live streaming results. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, the features just go on and on and on. And as I said too, for me, the handling of this camera, for me, really beats the G9, um, in my opinion. The features, the two card slots, all that stuff, that's all the same. Flip out screen, that's all the same. But the tactileness of all the buttons and all the dials, everything is where it needs to be. I find on the Panasonic GH5, and I mentioned this before, that there's a little less menu diving. You can switch between settings easier. You can map the buttons and everything like that to really make it an effortless workflow with this particular camera. And hey, that's not me hating on the G9. I love that camera. We'll never get rid of that camera. Just sometimes in certain scenarios and things like that, particularly for more sort of paid client work, um, the GH5 just, for me, for me, just has it over the G9. Okay, number five. Now, this is the big one. Price and value. Heading into 2024, the GH5 Mark II really can't be beat. Um, and as I said before, the original G9 is even cheaper. Few less features, but you know, still great value. But the GH5 Mark II here in Australia is around that $1,000 mark to maybe even the $1,200 mark. And for that sort of price and what you get is absolutely fantastic. If you've got an original GH5 or if you've got even a G9, so I use the G9 and the GH5 sort of as my tandem combo. Um, if you're looking to upgrade from you know, those cameras or maybe add one in, the value that you get here and now um, with the Panasonic GH5 Mark II is absolutely incredible. Everyone's selling them off because they're either, well, they've either gone to the GH6 or they're waiting for the GH6 Mark II or the GH7 with the new phase um, autofocus. Or let's be honest, a lot of micro four thirds shooters 
Panasonic shooters have you know gone to uh, full frame the S5 and the S5 Mark II and they're getting rid of their mic micro four thirds kit and honestly I am looking to get an S5 Mark II um, I don't know when I'll just have to keep my eye out for a good deal but you know for me I would never sell my GH5 Mark II or my G9 any of that micro four thirds gear it's just absolutely fantastic and awesome value so there you have it as you can see um, the way I'm delivering this video and stuff I am quite passionate about this camera. Um, this was one of those game-changing cameras that I got, you know, a while ago, and it really did, you know, speed up my workflow. It's my dedicated YouTube camera. You know, I would actually consider getting a second one so I can leave one up permanently all the time and take this one out for jobs. I am very passionate about this camera. I love this camera. Um, I plan to travel more with this camera in 2024, um, using it with some of my new lenses that I got. It's gonna be brilliant. So yeah, very underrated, um, a very underrated camera, which I think deserves a few more kudos. Photos and stills, content creation, all that sort of stuff, travel photography, travel video, personal work, professional work, the GH5 Mark II really has got you covered. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, comments and queries below. Do you have a GH5 Mark II? Are you thinking about getting a GH5 Mark II? Um, do you use a G9? Which camera do you prefer? Um, let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this sort of thing, please do consider subscribing to the channel. That helps me out a lot. Big thumbs up for the video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.